What's up guys, double 12 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial video. In today's tutorial video, I will show you guys how to make floating rails. Now, um, this will be really useful if you want to make a really cool roller coaster in the sky and you don't want to put blocks under it, but of course, you're going to still need um, everything in my hotbar right now to do this awesome glitch. Now, you will need bone meal, um, normal grass, a minecart, rail, or power rails, it doesn't re really matter, and any type of block, and for today's tutorial, I'll be using the gold block, and I really want to give a big shout out to Cubez, who is no a well-known map maker in this community, he showed me how to do this, and I'll leave his Twitter in the uh, description for you guys to go check him out, and seriously guys, go check him out, he's made many maps, and really cool guy overall, so what you want to do is put it anywhere in the sky, and just make a platform, I, it doesn't matter how long, you know what? For the funsies, we're just gonna make, like, a circle. Because circles are, are pretty cool, right guys? Circles are cool. Or whatever you're gonna call this. Next, all you really have to do is place the rails on the blocks necessary. Now, you know, this is just to create a cool pathway. And do not put the... I repeat, do not put the minecart on the rails before you actually do this because it will cause it to fail so what you gotta do is now place the grass right underneath the blocks that you know you're gonna be um the blocks you basically put the rails on and the final thing you're gonna do after you finish this well, let me just finish it up is bone meal the tall grass now this is um really easy to do all what it does to the tall grass it makes it double tall grass and it for whatever reason it glitches and it takes the place of the block above it and it's really that simple. Now you can just easily break the tall grass and you will have floating rails. And this is really useful. As you can see, I probably accidentally hit the um, rails up there. But, you know, it does indeed work. You just have to be a little careful how you place it. I recommend just making, you know, really tiny ones just because, you know, it'll eventually update. But, yeah, guys, that's how you make floating rails. Really quick tutorial. Again, go check out Cubesy, guys. Really cool guy, and really he really deserves more followers on Twitter because he's a really awesome person. So you guys go have a Twitter, go check him out, and really guys, you know, hopefully you guys have learned something. If, you guys, if this tutorial has taught you anything at all, and you guys have maybe just enjoyed the video overall, um, don't forget to go smash that like button below. Let's, I don't know, just, just hit the like button, you know, because we got a cool floating card over here, and we're just like really awesome about this. Let's go third person, just show you guys we are indeed floating. There we go. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like. If you guys are new to this channel, don't join the Barry Nation today by subscribing. Go check out QZ in the description. And, you know, tell me what you guys think you guys can do with school glitch. Just be careful with it. It is kind of buggy to use, but it's really awesome. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Bye.